Yes, we're out here on the back porch of Timbuktu. We're out here with another invention from Better Health Technologies. Some very interesting technology that came from a part of NASA research from many, many years ago. We've got the inventor here today with us that's been working on this for many years. Herman, tell us a little bit about what we've got here today. Steve, what we have here today is the what we call vital shield. And, uh, vital shield is a protector for surface bacteria uh, coatings to where you don't want, you want to have a, any bacteria surface and keep uh, uh, contact diseases and transfer of something like H H1N1 like they something have something like that. Year. The, ja the Japanese know. actually made soups out of this type of material. And that's because of the viruses. This yes. is protecting them against the viruses it's and that's why they're against using the virus. Protecting against the virus. And now, this material goes a long way. You can get 400 square foot out of this little bottle right here. 400 square foot, that's a lot of air. Now those areas are most commonly uh, areas that would, would be a lot of fingerprints or hand contact or maybe people touching their nose, touching their mouth and then grabbing a doorknob or something else that might be shiny or just a lot of contact areas where this is very popular. Right, right. In, your, in your bathrooms, in your kitchens, on your countertops, in your vehicles, on your boat, in your truck, wherever you want to put it, it has a heavy contact area. Uh, I don't recommend it for outside paint finishes on your truck, but I, you could use it on the chrome of the truck or something like that, and, it, and it'll work. It'll keep those uh, love bugs from sticking to it and surfaces like that. What an amazing product. Keeping people healthy. Better health technologies. Right. Now I've got a little demonstration here. I'll show you. This is microfiber What's cloth. this here, Bear? This is a stainless steel pan I brought in. It's just a little demonstration of what we use in the hospitals and all. And it's as simple as putting a fine mist squirt on it right here. Now and from what I understand, the reason why we're putting such a fine mist on is because when we're talking about nanotechnology, I've done a little bit of research on it, and there are a lot of small particles in, in one little squirt of this material. So what we want to do in most cases is put it on as thin as we can, but also get it uniformly covering the surface, and the way we do that is by using a, a special type of cloth, the microfiber cloth. We've got more surface area on a microfiber cloth. It's like a real fine brush. So we would use that over top of right, this you particular. You just take it, you, you're actually sealing the porosity. Most surfaces has porosity. In it. So you're basically sealing the surface to where nothing can get out in the hole. If it does get out in the hole, the light and the moisture from your next cleaning or just standard use boils out the bacteria out of those pores. So if I was looking at this under a microscope, I might be looking at something that looks like volcanic rock on a lot of surfaces. Right. And right. because this stuff is designed to just, it's so small, it that it just goes and fills every little crack and right. crevice it and hole. It penetrates those little pinholes you don't see. So we're filling it in, and not only that, but at the same time we're filling it in so the surface won't help grow something down in, That's but right. we're also keeping everything on that surface now from continuing to grow any virus or bacteria on that surface. Right, and any bacteria that does get down in the hole is going to be boiled out, like I say, with a little light and a little moisture. It's coming out of that hole. It's coming out to the surface. It's dead when it comes out. So that's an active uh, product. That it, all it needs is a little sunlight, a little moisture from the air. Or any kind of light, your household light. Yeah. Your household light. It, it, it's, it's highly recommended. Anybody that goes into a restaurant restroom does not want to touch the door handle coming out of the restroom. Why wash your hands when you're going to come out and touch that dirty door handle? So you clean the whole surface around the door handle, and, and it's protected. It's protected. It'll eat the fingerprints off. And that is a simple way to make a healthier home. That's right. Healthier with just a square bottle on a cloth. That's right. Very right. inexpensive for what it does. And, uh, that's just a, an example of some of the products of Better Health Technologies and uh, coming to you from Timbuktu Ideas. And we've got more coming. Yeah, wasn't you, weren't you also saying earlier something about the bed bugs? 
Oh, oh yeah. You yeah, understand this, this, this we, product you spray it right on the cloth? That's, that's right. right on we, the mattress we have a bed bug solution of Vital Shield also that you can spray on your actually beds, your mattresses, and everything it won't hurt you. Spray your carpet in your house to keep the fleas down and it repels them and keeps them away. It kills them. They don't they don't come back. Those are so microscopic, you know, I think some of us have seen them under a microscope, a bed bug, and it's just such a small thing, you can't even see it. But we got something smaller we can go after it with. Right, they're, use, they're using this material in Europe, uh, trying to cure cancer, different cancer cells, things like that. They use water purification, it's used for a lot of, a lot of uh, ideas over there and over here too. So. Well, I know in a lot of the research that I did, I was actually ending up on, on more medical sites where they were doing research for actually cancer, uh, cancer more than anything, but it was amazing to me how many things that this product is already being used in all over the world. Well, that's right. Just think about it in our hospital process. You go in there and the doctor comes in, the nurse comes in, puts on their rubber gloves and they touch the patient all over. They don't know why that patient come to them in the ambulance. They don't know if that person is dirty and they haven't been cleaned or whatever. They might be spreading disease all over the room. Well, if you treat the bed rails and treat the tabletops, the chairs and everything in the room, that eliminates that problem. Yeah, I know they're always after getting the cleanest room they can because that keeps down the viruses and any kind of continuing health right. problems. And we'll talk about the medical aspects of this later in, a, in another show here. But uh, today, timbuk2ideas.com or BetterHelp Technologies, go look for it. It's on the website. Come back and see us. Thank you.